The Dallas Stars hosting the Vancouver Canucks, and the Stars are minus 145. The Canucks are plus 125. The over-under is five and a half goals. The Canucks getting a goal and a half are minus 200. The Stars laying a goal and a half are plus 170. Now, the Canucks are on a one-game losing streak. They are four and six in their past 10 games, and in those games where they were an underdog and could not lose the game by two, getting a goal and a half, they are four and one. Now, Dallas is on a three-game winning streak. They are six and four in their past 10 games, and in those games where they were a favorite and had to win the game by two, they are one and two. Head-to-head, the home team is on a two-game winning streak. Vancouver is on a one-game winning streak. The last three games that they've played between each other have been decided by two goals or more. The over five and a half goals is three and oh, and these teams are five and five against each other in their past 10 games. So when they play each other, it's kind of a coin toss of who's going to win. Now, I understand that the home team stat is there, and I understand that these teams have been winning by more than two goals, but the Canucks have been playing very well as an underdog. So I'm going to take the Stars with the money line. The Canucks with the goals and the over five and a half. I'm going to try to hedge my bets. Let's see if I'm right. Let's see if I'm wrong.